What up, y'all? It's your man, Album American. Uh, you know, I wanted to just rehash the conversation I was having with the guy at work. I'm the boss at my job, and, um, you know, we were talking about asking your boss for more money. And I made a video in the past that you are for sale. You know, that our hourly rate or whatever, you know, we negotiate in terms of salaries or whatever is what we've sold ourselves for. And regardless of how you see it, whether you like to see it like that or not, you know, this sale is a business transaction. Now, I work for a businessman, obviously, you know, and within the framework of a larger company, uh, we contract uh, we contract for them. We're, you know, we're his, their contractors. And uh, so, you know, the company owner, I, I see him every day, you know, there's the company owner, the CFO, and then there's me, you know, and a few other guys in my position because we're a pretty big company. Uh, regardless, the point is I see the company owner regularly, you know, and um, everybody always comes to me and they're like, hey, you know what, I'm American, I want a pay raise, you know, can you talk to the boss? Uh, I, I deserve a pay raise, I want to talk to the boss, and I've had this conversation with most people on the job, and I told them, it's like, you know, you want something, you need to go talk to the boss, why would I go talk to the boss about a pay raise for you when I want a pay raise myself, it's like, you know, I was like, so, the first thing I do is I take them down my, my, my line of thought, and I, I put myself in the boss's shoes, and I'm like, tell me why you should get more money, and people come with multiple reasons, that aren't really reasons, uh, I, I, you know, I don't make any mistakes on the job. I'm like, that's what you're paid to do anyway. You're a professional. You're supposed to come to the job and not make mistakes. I was like, so how can I go to the boss if, you, if that's what you expect me to do, which I'm not going to do, and expect me to justify requesting a pay raise for you for doing your job correctly? I'm like, that's what you paid for. That's what you negotiated your contract initially for in the first place. Another person says, oh, they operate a machine that does like, you know, that packs like, uh, I don't know how to explain it engineering equipment, you know, and it's like, oh, well, now we have two machines, I'm running two machines, and I'm like, this person has a case, but they just said, oh, I'm running two machines, um, you know, I should get more money, and uh, I actually talked to the boss about this, I didn't approach him in terms of like, you know, I think this person can get a pay raise, but I said, hey, you know, heads up, this person's contract is coming to the end, it's going to be renewed, they're going to ask for more money, I said, their reasoning and their logic is, you know, there's a... Uh, you know, there's two machines they're operating now as opposed to one. Now, I'm trying to get a, an insight into my boss's head. I'm not trying to snitch on this person or, you know, shoot their plans down. Not at all. But I'll tell you why. Because I have my own plan. So anyway, uh, the boss says, what, is, what the does that mean to me? He's like, you know, if you run one machine or you run two, eight hours is eight hours. I'm paying you for eight hours of work. I don't care if you come in here and sweep. You know, and you don't run a machine at all. It's like, I'm paying you to come in here and work eight hours. What does two machines have to do with anything? So I'll come back to this person in, 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 in a minute, you know. Another guy, you know, he operates, you know, he's he's in charge of like, uh, uh, what is that called in English? The warehousing department. Basically, he's the forklift operator. He loads and unloads the trucks. It's a whole lot of material. The guy does a lot of work. Dude is an absolute beast. I got to give him his props. The guy's a beast. Uh, and he does far and above and beyond what he's, uh, you know, What's in within his contract? The guy does a lot. He wants pay raise too. Now this guy is 100% justified in asking for a pay raise. And I told him you need to go talk to the boss. You need to go tell him, hey, this is what I offer you in exchange. I need more money, you know. And if the boss is this guy, then it's his loss. Now the guy made a lot of mistakes recently that you know put him in a bad negotiating position. Nevertheless, the guy still has grounds to go and ask for a pay raise. He said no. I'm not going to go talk to the boss. Now, looking at it from a psychological standpoint, he expects the boss to come to him. And the guy has a very entitled and very arrogant attitude. Uh, Semi-justified, like I said, because he is a beast and he knows it. But uh, at the end of the day, it also causes him to make mistakes that uh, are avoidable. And they have there have been some expensive mistakes. Uh, to the point that the boss said, you know, I'm not sure really it's beneficial to keep him within the company anymore. Because it's engineering products and when you drop something off of a forklift in the tunes of thousands like that I mean literally like that you know you drop one box and it's like it's a lot of money very precision German precision you know engineering equipment that goes inside even more expensive larger equipment whatever so I'm talking to this young guy he's talking about getting more money too and I was like what do you offer the boss that he should pay you more money 
I said, coming in and doing your job isn't isn't gonna cut it. I said, let me tell you that right now. Just coming in here just because we got a bunch of screw ups, because we do have a bunch of screw ups. I said, just because you're not one of them, that's not reason to ask for a pay raise or expect that you should get one because you're not a screw up, because you're doing the, the, the status quo, which is doing your job and doing it correctly. He says, okay, well, I just want more money. I was like, no, look, I said, let me, let me tell you what I do. Now, I currently work six days a week most of the time, sometimes seven days a week, uh, 10 hours a day, every day. I'm like, I don't do this because I love my job. Uh, I like my job, actually. But it's not, it's not a love. I have a life. And I, I prefer to go to my life than have my job. I said, but you know what I'm doing? I said, I'm doing a bunch of overtime right now. I said, and I'm going to come at him with this angle. I'm going to say, look, boss, I'm here six days a week, 10 hours a day. It costs you a lot of money to pay all that overtime. I'm like, so let's just use some basic numbers. So I go, so I, this is the reasoning I say. I said, look, at the end of the year, I said, boss, look, I add all this up. I did 700 hours overtime at 10 bucks an hour just to keep it easy. I said, so... Dude, that's a lot of money. 7,000 bucks a year. How about this? It's costing you 7,000 a year extra for me to do overtime. How about I stop doing overtime and you pay me 50% of my yearly overtime on my basic salary? Now I got my life back and you got lower costs, but you still got me, you know, coming in here, busting my butt, doing the job. Now you can say, hey, just stop doing overtime. You can say, hey, you know what? Our contractor pays whether you do overtime or not. He's got some arguments. But you have to come with some sort of case to make it make sense to him. Because he's a businessman and he's looking at the numbers. So me, I'm trying to sell him the numbers that it's cheaper to pay me a little bit more. It's not going to be a lot more, $3,500 a year. I mean, you know, it's, I'm just throwing this out there so it's easy and quick. And I don't have to make some big, you know, time and a half at this rate and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, we're going over numbers that we don't need to go over. But because I'm going to ask for more than that naturally, you know, but I'm just saying, these are the basic things, make it make sense to him, you know, make sure you come in, you do your job right, you're doing the basics already, and show that you are capable of more, you're capable of better, and do it, and then demand more based upon that, so for me, even though I don't have a strong case, I got a case that, look, I can save you money, you'll pay me more, yes, per hour, but you're going to be paying me less because I'm not going to be doing all those hours. So no matter what, you come out at the end of the year, 3500 cheaper. You got to be smart, people. When you go at your bosses and you ask them for money and you want money, you can't just go and want money because you feel entitled to it, because you expect it. You don't do that. You go shopping and you like, you see in one store the price of an item that's $50. You go to another store and you see the price is $30. What are you going to do? It's the same item. You're going to pay $30, obviously, because it makes sense in terms of business. Ah, that's $30 I save. If the store just says we want that extra, you know, $20 just because we want it, because we feel entitled to it, well, then you're going to be like, screw you. I want to keep my $20. He's seeing it from, a, from, you know, basically from no difference of a position, just as a businessman and paying you. Think about it. Anyway, this is what I told the kid. We had a longer conversation than that, but, you know, I'm just trying to keep this, you know, short for the sake of brevity. Uh, anyway, let me know what you think. This is your man, Abu American. Catch me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all at Abu American. Oh, and Steven, I'm out.